night and now we're gonna get a taxi and we'll see you guys when we get there good morning we have woken up in the jungle let me just show you outside this is our lovely peaceful this is my favorite part about it this it's gonna look very bright We booked a little Airbnb. Um, I'll just take you in a sec. I block the mosquitoes out. So I have to say, it's a little bit more shabby, chic, shabby than it did look in the pictures. It looked quite modern in the pictures. It looked quite new and fresh. It is a little bit worn. However, for what we paid for it, it's, it's fine, like it's fine for what we need. Um, so we literally have a bed, um, a balcony, as you saw, this like little area to keep all your clothes, there's a bathroom in there, but there's someone in there right now. <laughs> and then we have, oh, there's someone outside the door, a kitchen behind me, um, and like a dining area, and like a little sofa, and a, and then there is a little bit out here as well where you can go and sit and I'll just show you um, the pool out. So there's a little tad bit here and then this is the pool. Morning. So it's really nice and peaceful. Just a completely different vibe to uh, where we've just been. So much nicer. Good morning. Good morning. Ow. Tell them what we're about to go and do now, Reese. Aerial yoga. Have you ever done aerial yoga before? No. Are you excited? It's going to be different. Let's go swing up and down on some silks. So we got directions got lost and then we're actually in the yoga place and we're lost. <laughs>
I'm straight. Come on now. <laughs> I've been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow Wind into myself Away from things I let go, floating on the waves We go bottoms up, we go all the way When you're feeling down, push the pain away We go bottoms up, we go all the way And face the another day We go bottoms up Uh, however, we've been to both and it was 300 pesos each person to get in to both or 150 pesos just for one. Um, our recommendation is the one that you pay for, which we'll figure out after and tell you guys, um, the one that you pay at is, is our favourite, but this one was also really nice too. Um, Don't forget a snorkel. But yeah, we didn't have a snorkel, so we didn't get to like see the magic of like what's under the water, which I feel like is the whole magic of these things. So um, yeah, definitely come and check some out, but we'll uh, probably do some more this week. And uh, we'll take you with us then as well. But for now, for now, we're getting on the scooter. Sonote you. <laughs> Go on, Ray. <laughs> Sonote you later. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Of raw talum Reese. It was nice, yeah. Very nice. Not your kind of thing, more my kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, your kind of thing. But it was still nice, still enjoyed it. Good. Would you go back? No. I'll have to go back on my own then. <laughs> well, no. I thought it was immense. We had raw chocolate brownie, no, raw chocolate cake, which was immense. And Reese had a raw pad thai. And what did I have? 
or like a quinoa salad bowl, which was immense. It was quite pricey, wasn't it? Quite yeah, pricey. Very pricey. But everyone says that Tulum is pricey. They say it's like the more expensive version, so I'm guessing that's why. So, I thought I'd take you with us today as we're going to go see the Mayan ruins on the seafront in Tulum. And we're also going to go and see the beach there and maybe another cenote on the way back. Um, I just wanted to share with you quickly our little Airbnb. It's actually in a great location. It is quite far from the beach, but that is kind of the way that Tulum is spread out. Um, there's like the non-hotel zone, which is like where all the jungly vibes are and all the Airbnbs and like cute little quirky restaurants and the town itself, like the Centro. And then there's like the hotel zone and all the beaches. So basically you have to drive about 15 minutes, probably from whatever your location is, if you aren't in the hotel zone, which is absolutely fine as long as you like rent a scooter or you don't mind paying for a taxi. Personally recommend rent a scooter, although they are quite pricey here, but I feel like it is worth it. Quite often the Airbnbs and things like that may have um, like a bike you can rent or borrow, um, or you could just find one. I'll link the one we use down below um, because they've actually been great. Our tire popped and um, they just came and replaced the bike like literally within half an hour so they were really really great um, but yeah this is our hotel slash Airbnb that we're staying in uh, and it's really chilled it's really quiet um, we've just been getting a lot of work done doing lots of like inner work which uh, always sounds like a funny thing to say but I feel like it's necessary to live a peaceful happy life um, so yeah we're staying here the Casa Tulum and um, I'd definitely say it's got like some pros and cons. Um, this is the pool, which we haven't actually <laughs> used at all once. Um, does have some like chilling out areas as well, but it, it's kind of a little bit run down if I'm honest, a little bit like um, to do with a refresh, but like it's absolutely fine for like what you pay for. And if you're just using it as like a base, it's absolutely perfect. And the location is fab. Um, and like I said, you can just like borrow the bikes they have here or you can rent a scooter. So we're just gonna hop on here now and drive to... Where are we driving to, Reese? Mine Ruins. The Mine Ruins. So we should see you there. We just drove down here, it was like a 15 minute drive yep. from where we were. Um, and you basically, you get to this roundabout at the bottom of the road, which is the whole front of the beach, and you just take a left. And then you drive all the way to the end, so, so you literally cannot drive any further. Then you have to pack your bike or your scooter or whatever, and then you have to take a little walk. And hopefully, we'll get there in a second. I thought you were going to say something. No, I'm just smiling. Do you have anything to say? No, it's a pretty good description. <laughs> Look at all this cactus. Think of all the cactus salad I can make. <laughs>
as you just saw, we saw the beautiful Mayan ruins that are here in Tulum and it was 80 pesos per person to get in and which is like two pounds something which is really really affordable and we highly recommend you guys do it there's those like wildlife, loads of obviously the ruins and everything and there's also a beautiful like beach sea view um, and the water looked so clear, so blue and so lovely Oh there's a little squirrel, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, that's so cute um, yeah, so we highly recommend you guys doing it. If you ever come here, make sure you put SPF on because it's super hot and there's no shade. Oh, yeah. Reese is dying. Do not wear black. <laughs> wear something that's like really cool but also covered because, like I said, the sun's out and it's boiling. Um, so we're just going to go and jump in the sea now to cool off and we'll see you guys later. So this is the reality. Don't even go far. What I mean. As always, I forgot to end this vlog. Um, so we're actually back in Playa del Carmen now. Uh, but that was our we captured our moments into them and i hope you guys enjoyed them i hope you found them useful and inspiring when my blog is back live which by the time you watch this video it may well be um if it is i will leave the link down below and in that i will include loads of restaurants recommendations um places to rent scooters i will leave our airbnb there um and also if you have any questions please just ask obviously we were just there so we have um, as much information as we can give you, we will share with you. Um, I would also add that Tulum, I think, as in a nutshell, would be a great holiday destination if you have quite like a nice budget. Um, however, if you're like a backpacker budget, then maybe Tulum is not the place for you. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like our overall experience i hope you guys enjoyed watching the video if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up like i said if you have any questions please leave them down below in the comment box or come over to instagram i'm at, I'm at katie victoria helen um, i will be happy to help you with anything you need um to love or players or common related um and i look forward to hearing from you guys soon uh thanks for being here see you next sunday away from things that let go floating on the way we go bottoms up